Hey there, everyone, this is Potter Brownie, and welcome to another blind reaction of some MLP fan work. Uh, this time we have a Christmas special from DWK, the toy legit recap of the best gift ever. Uh, as always, link in the description below, be sure to support him over there, and let's get it started and see what he's got in store for us this time. First frame is a particularly heart wrenching scene, but uh, let's just see what it's got to say. And starting the video in three, Two, one, and go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes, Merry Cuckmas. Ah, uh, the holiday. Well, you made her cry even worse by forcing her to watch that. And most of all, Jackass. getting fucked up. Unless, of course, you just quit drinking last month and there was time for slowly waking up from a decade-long alcoholic fog and realizing to your utter horror that somewhere along the way you started making my little pony videos for a living how how did i think this was a good idea anyway it's pony christmas again the one oh, time congratulations on one month bon bon. don't feel so out of place because everyone else is feeling gay too You know I was going to talk about this. This yeah, of is course you had to. agony right here. This is not, oh, I thought that guy was cute, but he's got a girlfriend. Dang it. This is my quiet, sheltered little ass fell in love with this dude the moment I saw him and the elaborate fantasy of our romance, marriage, and subsequent conjugation I've been meticulously constructing in my mind for the past few years has just been shattered and my heart uh... impaled upon its fragments. But here's the most horribly depressing part of all. You can see for just a second as her main moves that the other eye is in fact open and she's still staring at them behind that curtain of probably very greasy hair. She can't even look away until she physically backs out of the room. I guess we know what Marvel's doing tonight. So Princess Twiggles is having an anxiety attack because she spent the last month organizing that musical montage and now she has to do all her shopping on the last day and AJ's like, Twy, calm down. What are you so worried about? I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to hold a state together, run a school, and make sure my socially retarded apprentice and her actually retarded friend don't break anything <laughs> while also planning a party and buying gifts for all you fucks. You guys act like I'm so nuts. Like, oh, that Twilight, she sure does get worked up, doesn't she? Ha ha ha. I have more jobs than the rest of you combined. Spike, why aren't you helping her more? I'm going through dragon puberty, man. I gotta jerk it like 12 times a day or my dick starts shooting fire. Uh, speaking of that rarity, you need to back up a little, trust me. Guys, I got an idea. We're all best friends and we already know how much we all care about each other, so maybe to make this all a little less stressful, we could just not get each other gifts. I'm down. Man, that would really lighten my... Anyway, they decide to do Secret Santas, which, as Spike points out, doesn't solve the problem at all because even though you're only buying one gift, the emotional liability is infinitely higher, so basically everyone's yeah, still for that, Spike. stressed out, but about fewer things. And Punk's like, guys, you gotta help me. I have no idea what to get for Twilight. Why not just make her a gift? I'm building marble a cuck shed. Why do you need to build it when you could just summon one with your wizard powers? Shut up. Speaking of that, you can have this hat. Seriously, though, I'm glad Marble laughed in this scene. Judging by that face i was afraid yep. we were gonna be pulling her down with the decorations after christmas i feel nothing and i'm not oh, sure because shit. i'm still detoxing this is just how life is fluttershy i got you for secret santas what do you want whatever you want to give me man it'll make me happy because it's from you nope that's fucking bullshit and you know it this is why i hate christmas i have to buy people shit they didn't ask for and don't need but they judge me for it anyway look if it's stressing you out that True. much don't buy me anything i promise i won't be mad no but you'll cry yeah probably see it's like an emotional hostage situation and i don't even know what the ransom is <laughs> Can I just give you cash? That just feels kind of weird. Why? Why does everyone say money's a bad gift? I had to work for that money. I'm literally I'm you handing there. you a chunk of my limited time on this earth, and you can use it to buy whatever you want. That's the best gift. Yeah, exactly. I think when you remove the present part and just give cash, it feels like a transaction where you're using money to buy affection. But that's what gift giving is. I mean, if you're a lazy, cynical asshole. Hi, Rainbow Dash. Nice to meet you. So, Dashy. <laughs> 
begrudgingly goes shopping, and just when I was really settling into this comfy little yeah, holiday of special, Discord can't honestly be serious. Somehow I didn't see this coming, and in retrospect, I have nobody but myself to blame. And now this is the part where I'm supposed to turn up the drama and build into yet another impassioned rant about how much I hate Discord. Now he's gonna ruin the episode and how mad I am about it, but I'm tired. I've said everything I could possibly say, and I no longer have the strength to scream into the void. You win, Discord. Go ahead and do your thing. Have a laugh. Bend me over and fuck me, Daddy. I'll be a good boy, and I won't struggle anymore. The one consolation is that everyone split up for this episode, so we only have to deal with Discord's bullshit when we're with Rainbow. Dashi, your sacrifice dude. will not be forgotten. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fluttershy and Apple Hat are in Rainbow Falls and Butternut's like, Applejack, why did we come all all the way here because something something rainbow falls gift shop uh, it's the show's ending next season and we might not get another chance to reuse all these animation assets now come on let's go shopping hey aj check out what i bought where'd you get that piece to show oh god damn it it's those faggots again <laughs> look they're selling everyone a bunch of crappy mass-produced dolls this is just wrong yeah. the holidays are a time for family Flamer, Flamer has, bro. they shouldn't be an excuse for businesses to hawk some cheap plastic toys and rake in money by exploiting our emotions and traditions i agree Agree, but I'm feeling this ill-defined yet nauseating sense of cognitive dissonance right now. I'm bleeding out my eyes, sugar cubes. Rarity's like, yo, muffins. Did you get my package for Applejack? Uh, Fuck you, that's see. not her name. Yep, I don't care what the credit said. Didn't get a package though. Right, because I delivered it to Applejack. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you were supposed to deliver it to me. Then why'd you tell me it was for Applejack? Because it is. It's, it's a gift for her. Bro, you tell the post office who you want the thing delivered to, not who you're giving it to eventually. I don't care what you're gonna do with it. Just tell me whose mailbox to stick it in, you fucking retard. Oh, yeah, well, it takes one to no one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I fucked up too. It's at an acorn orchard or something. Wow, this whole transaction was a failure on every possible front. How, how could we fuck up this bad? I don't know, dude. Why do they let me run a post office? I'm not even sure I do. I've just never seen anyone else working here. What are all these papers for? I don't know. World's full of mysteries, man. You know what? I'm not even mad anymore. See you later. We should hang out sometime. <laughs> Sorry, Dashy, you're taking one for the team here. Okay, so light bulb, yeah, yeah, balloon, mm -hmm. just as I thought. Don't What's he gonna do with this one? Yep, Illuminati confirmed. All right, now I need to think of a gift for Pinkie Pie. Not even mentioning it. Oh, wait, hold on. I think wait, it was... He... Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sneeze. Oh. God, I, hate that. I think I'm getting sick. Probably cancer. Yeah, yeah, that definitely looks like cancer. <laughs> Wait, that's it. I could cook her up a chronic new meme. So Twiggles dusts off some ancient tomes written by the old gods themselves and begins concocting a recipe for the best gift ever. She's just getting all caught up in best a tism gift. tizzy oh, when suddenly... That's nice. That's nice. I'll give you that. Oh, look who it is, the Freeloader Squad. Oh, come on, Twily fam. We'll help you out with the decorations and stuff. You want to help out? Why don't we do something at your fucking castle for once? You know, the bigger one with an actual staff besides a pubescent dragon who's currently AWOL following his dick around like a divining rod? Oh, so what the hell is that? Oh, we just bundled her up because she tends to get sick around this time of year. You know, the sniffles, cough, ocular bleeding, stigmata. Whatever, I gotta go and don't do anything <laughs> gross in my house. Cosplay time? I know where she keeps her coronation dress. Anyway, Mod and the two untouched Fuck, pies dude. weren't very helpful on the gift thing, so while Rarity is having a polite but awkward lunch with these acorn farmers after accidentally confronting them with incontrovertible proof that their son is gay, Paka goes to see all the yaks except the one we actually care about. Is that good angle for optimal smashing? Face down, ass up. What? That's the best angle for optimal smashing. So Yak Bro tells her to go to the <laughs> North Pole, where she meets three of Santa's reindeer, and they're like, don't worry, man, between the three of us, we can figure out the perfect gift for anyone. But how do you come up with personal, meaningful presents for people you never even met? You guys must have, like, special Christmas powers or something, right? Yeah, pretty much. It's called data mining. We can see everyone's browser history, search history, emails. Yeah, that'll do it. It doesn't seem ethical. The only people who say that are the ones who have something to hide. 
Why would you put a stick of butter up your ass, by the way? I wouldn't. That's why I like to watch other people do it. Whatever. I'll go check your friend Twilight's search history and we can come up with a gift for her right now. Hey, guys. What? What's a human penis? <laughs> Twilight Nanas? Twilight Nanas? Twilight Nanas? Twilight Nanas? Twilight Nanas? No, Twilight Nanas? That's pretty much the takeaway from that scene. Oh, and, uh, right, uh, Equestria's strongest argument for abortion over here has escaped its bindings and, as an act of revenge, is sabotaging the meme pudding by adding questionable ingredients. Oh, look, sunset. <laughs> so it's the end of the day and everyone yeah, back home only. and I completely ignored Spike, but whatever, so does everyone else. And Butternut's like, yo, do you guys smell that? It smells quite dank, darling. Run! You got some dank memes. Okay, so not only is the meme pudding ravaging the castle, but there's also a giant albino hamster. I don't know why I skipped all the parts with Discord. Also, this little moment where Shiny and Candy are sucking each other off is adorable. I, I love them. So while Fluttershy's box in the chinchilla or whatever, Ponka cracks open the present the reindeer gave her to find a jug of wine. And she's like, see you in the next life, niggas, and suicides into the pudding, effectively neutralizing it. Because, as we all know, wine is acidic, and this pudding meme is basic as fuck. Everyone has a good cry because Pinky's dead That's now, some good chemistry. Mrs. Twiggles declares that honoring her Christ-like sacrifice will become a new heart-swarming tradition for all of Equestria. I'm a bit reindeer ex machina, but... Oh god, Discord's an episode reviewer now, as if he couldn't get any more insufferable. And AJ's like, guys, I realized something. This whole socially mandated gift giving thing is dumb. Like, this is the one time a year where we all get time off work, and instead of relaxing, we run around worrying and spending too much money. I isn't this kind of masochistic? Then let's just not ah. give each other gifts. Hey, look, Pinky's the alive. Only one who objected to that idea, and she's dead. I'm not dead. I'm right here. You're looking at me, you dumb bitch. True, but if we don't have presents to open, what do we do on Heartswarming Eve? Why, why are you guys ignoring me? Wait, guys, I got it. Pinky <laughs> was right all along. Oh god, I really oh, am shit. dead. She was the only one who successfully gave a gift, and it was the best gift of all. Sacrificing your life for your friends? No, no, no. Booze. In the future, let's just give each other booze. We'll never have to think about what to buy, and then we can all hang out and get smashed. Wow, suddenly the world doesn't seem so bad. Even the pain of losing my friend feels numb and distant. This is a nightmare. It has to be a nightmare. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. That's the great thing about alcohol. It's cheap, everyone likes it, it makes annoying relatives tolerable, and it makes your problems go away. But the best part is, you can share it with all your friends. That sounds amazing, but there's gotta be a catch, right? The only catch is you can never, ever stop drinking, or all the problems come back, and they'll be even, even worse, because you yep. didn't deal with them when you should've. Also, it causes liver damage, brain damage, and heart disease. Well, I mean, dying young seems like a fair trade for being happy, though, right? That may be, Rarity. That may be. You just have to weigh the options and decide for yourself. Actually, guys, I wrote a song for- Nobody cares, Spike. <sighs> yep, Merry Christmas, DWK. That was a uh, interesting take. for all the sexual stuff uh so yeah that was the totally legit recap of best gift ever should have remembered too the, yeah of course he's gonna be shitting on discord but whatever man. do you uh so yeah that was funny as as per usual and i have really nothing else to say to that one so, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, as I said before, link in the description below. And I'm going to end this one here. Until next time. Take care. <laughs>